These are 10 genius AI tools that I think every content creator should be using. At number one, we have Opus, which basically just turns your long form videos, whether it's a podcast or you're sitting down talking to the camera like this, it'll take that video and using AI, it will find viral moments that will clip into vertical videos and then throw captions on it. It will even give you a title and description to use. Then you can post that to social media. I did this for my friend Alejandro Reyes, who started a brand new podcast and I literally just took the link of his podcast from YouTube. I threw it into the website and then it spit out 16 different clips from his one hour long podcast. Now a little warning here, not every single one of those are going to be usable for social media, but after watching them, I found like six or seven of them that were really, really good. So I texted them to him. I was like, bro, you got to post these to YouTube shorts and just see what happens. And that's the awesome thing about this is it doesn't take much time. You throw in the link, you download them and you can post them right away. Now, maybe you want to choose this specific specific moments from your videos that you want to turn into short form video content, but you don't want to spend all the time adding in the captions. Now, if that's the case, then I recommend checking out submagic.co. This is what the website looks like and it's pretty cool and it gives you a lot of really good subtitles for your videos. Now, there's a lot of different caption AI tools out there right now, but why I like this one a lot is because it adds in a lot of animations with the text, making them a little bit bigger, adding in relevant emojis to the text text. And so it makes it a bit more engaging than just your classic adding in captions to your video. Once you upload your video, it's super easy to change the text. If something got misspelled though, I found this is to be very, very accurate. You can also change different emojis. You can add in emojis and then very quickly you are left with a great piece of content to post to social media. At number three, we have podcastle.ai, which I'm going to show you right here. And thank you podcastle for sponsoring this video. Podcastle has a lot of awesome AI features for podcasters and content creators. And one of them is their text to speech conversion using AI voices. So all you have to do is go up here to generate AI speech. In here, you can type whatever you'd like. And then there's 35 different AI voices that you can choose from. And now I can preview some of these AI voices and they're all gonna sound different. So you can choose the one that you like the most. Subscribe to Think Media. They have the best videos on the internet. That's on God, no cap. You heard it here, okay? I don't know what to say, you heard it here. Now, if you wanna make this text to AI speech a lot more personal, there is this feature called Revoice and it basically recreates your own voice. So then I can type in whatever I want and recreate my own voice using AI. So I'm gonna try this out now. I'm gonna go to generate AI speech. And now we can see that my voice is right here inside of the text editor. So if I just type in anything right here, I can then generate this to speak it out using my own voice. So it's generated and now I'm just gonna hit play. Hey guys, this is Nolan Molt from Think Media. And if you want to use Podcastle for content creation or your podcast, then check the link out in our description. Yeet. So this gives you the option really to do text to speech with your own voice. If you want to make it more personal for an ad read, a podcast intro or outro, or maybe you just messed up during your podcast and you said the wrong name or the wrong thing, you can use this AI to replace those in the podcast and edit it all together using Podcastle. Now, the other cool feature that they have is called the magic dust feature. And this basically just makes your audio sound way better with just the click of a button. Right now I'm testing out the new version on my smartphone. So you guys can hear what it sounds like when it's turned off and when that magic dust AI filter is turned back on. And this is a great example of what this feature can do because right now I'm pretty far away from my microphone. There are cars driving by and so there is a lot of background noise. There's a lot of wind going on. So you can hear what it sounds like with it turned off and what it sounds like when you turn it back on and it is quite the difference. And make sure you check the description because we're going to update everybody on when this feature is live for everyone. And this next tool is pretty impressive. Basically what it does is it takes your long form content or your YouTube videos and it turns it into blogs super easily. This is called Koala Writer. And if you go to koala.sh, you'll find this and you can try it out for free. And this is really cool right here. So in the free version, you can just use GPT 3.5. And then for article type, you want to change this to YouTube video to a blog post. And this is where it gets really, really cool. Here, you just want to paste your YouTube link and then you can scroll down for tone of voice. You could leave this as SEO optimized since your blog probably want to optimize the SEO. And for point of view, if you want it to sound like it's coming from the person, for example, this blog article I'll leave in first person so it sounds like it's coming from Sean we are going to then hit create article and from this it is going to spit out a complete blog article that we can copy and paste 
and post this online. Right now it is capped at 500 words, but if you do want to go unlimited and just use this as much as you want, you can buy it for $9 per month, which is pretty reasonable considering how much writing and repurposing of the content this is gonna give you. This next one is called Gleam, which is really cool and it helps you with editing down your YouTube videos. If you're like me, you're probably gonna mess up a ton and have to repeat yourself a ton, but when you throw it into Gleam AI, it detects all of your mess ups, it detects all of the silences, and it removes all of that, and then just gives you a nicely edited with all of your perfect takes in a row. From here, you can then send it to your editor like Final Cut Pro, where you wanna add in text and B-roll music, stuff like that. This saves me at least an hour because it takes a long time sometimes to go through all of that A-roll and to distinguish all my mess ups, and the fact that AI can just do that for me now, kind of like an assistant editor, is really, really cool and worth checking out. Now, this next one is called video.ai. And if you want to take your long form content and not just make vertical videos, but actually make like podcast clips or just shorter horizontal videos, this website allows you to do that. So very similar to Opus, it is going to distinguish certain parts of your videos that would make great clips. But what's cool about this one is it's not just vertical video. You can choose a 16 by nine widescreen version. So if you do wanna start uploading something like podcast clips, you can utilize this and it will find clips in your podcast or in your long form videos to post for you. If you're a YouTube creator, it's definitely worth investing in vidIQ because they have a lot of cool features that they continue to pump back out and AI features that are coming out that are really, really cool and save you a ton of time. And one of my favorites is the AI title recommendations. You can get different title recommendations that are actually pretty good. Another cool AI feature with vidIQ is their description generator, which just saves me a bunch of time because that's kind of the last thing I want to do when uploading a video is fill out a description. So all you need to do is click this button and then you type in a few keywords based on what your video is about. And then it just writes out a nice little description for you. And this is great for SEO. SEO optimization as well, so it gets in front of the right audience. VidIQ even has AI generated video ideas for you. So if you're in a rut and you're stuck, you can't think of video ideas, you literally can just start going through the ones that they suggest. You can favorite them or dismiss them if you don't like them. And over time, as you do that more and more, it's gonna learn what you're into and it will just get better and better, which is pretty cool. And you can use the link down in the description if you want to try VidIQ for just a dollar. This next one helps with YouTube thumbnails and even just graphic design in general for creators. And I've been experimenting with this a ton and that's the Photoshop beta, which has the generative fill option. This is absolutely insane. Not only can you use this to remove objects from a scene, but you can actually create new things in a scene that were never there in the first place. For example, let's say I'm making a thumbnail about King LeBron James and maybe I find this cool photo of him, but I wanna put a crown around his head. Well, with this tool, you can do that. You can actually draw around his head. You can tell it to add in a crown and then you have different options of what it's gonna look like. And it actually looks really good because it recreates the lighting and it blends into the image. Usually ends up looking really, really cool. This next tool is called Autopod and this will automatically cut up your podcasts for you. Now this is a plugin for Premiere Pro users, but it is literally worth getting Premiere Pro to do this if you have a podcast. It will Will automatically go through and start cutting up the interview, cutting to the person who is talking. Of course, sometimes it's not always perfect and you need to adjust it, but a lot of the times this does a pretty good job and gets you most of the way there. At number 10, we have Runway ML, which has some pretty insane AI features that you can use if you are editing video. One of my favorite tools is the green screen feature. Basically, you can throw in a clip, select the object, and it is going to erase everything behind that. So you can add in text behind the person. There's really all sorts of creative ways to use this. And typically if you were to like rotoscope this image and try and just keyframe this out, it would take so long. And I found that this is super accurate and it actually works very well. There's also a lot of other cool features on here. Like you can erase certain things from your videos. You can also slow motion any video. So if you have a regular video that's not in slow motion, you can throw this in there and it will add in frames to make it slow motion. And if you have images that you want to make a bit more interesting, you can actually make your photos have some movement to them. It's just really cool and it really brings these images to life. There's really no more excuses for you not to become a content creator anymore with all of these AI tools 
tools to help you out. And if you wanna actually make money and make passive income as a creator, then click on the screen and check out this video where I cover the 10 best passive income strategies for you to use as a creator. I'll see you guys in the next video.